Make it happen. Your name is War Portal Lights. And another episode of our Speed Build series, episode number two, where today we make the Megazord, or whatever you want to call this thing, this crazy, like, mech suit craziness thing. I don't even know how to describe it. Guys, I thought it would be a super cool idea. We made these guns, these turrets, these asteroid cannons, if you will, last time. I thought it was super fun. It was a cool theme, like the whole robotic futuristic kind of thing. We're in space. It's like, just seemed appropriate. I thought it would be super cool to kind of continue that sort of a trend type thing with our next speed build so I decided to make this mech suit thing and I think it turned out super cool you can tell I kind of did sort of like a there's a lot of influences going on in here so like obviously you've got like those old Final Fantasies with the mech suits and stuff Gundam style things obviously mechs are pretty popular anyway so I, I kind of it was influenced by a lot of those things also like Fallout 4 you know like the uh, this the the power state power what is it? Power armor crafting stations? Yeah, I, I kind of did a similar thing to that around it to kind of make it look like it's being like maintained or worked on. And then um, I added like a, a set of stairs so you can get up there and get inside of it. Um, obviously super simple. All I used was uh, titanium blocks. So like whatever, it's nothing too fancy, but it'll do the job. And then you run over here, open it up, and you're inside. Pretty straightforward, right? But outside of that, though, we did some other cool things. In fact, there's a lot of stuff that we can still add to this. It's pretty vanilla right now. I, it's a speed build, so I tried to do it as quickly as I could. Um, I think it's pretty cool. So, so what I started off with is just, you guys watch the kind of the, the time lapse thing, so you know how this works. But I did the feet first and kind of worked my way up to try and get like this human type figure. Used a lot of the uh, titanium play blocks to do it. And as I was going up, I started like you know in like joints, like a joint where area where there's like a joint. I would start incorporating this uh, runestone block, and I think it's really cool. It makes it look like almost kind of like armor on the mech. And then as I came up, I got to the hips. I added like uh, sort of a belt type thing with the uh, the runestone again. Made my way up to the chest. I kind of tried to shape out the chest a little bit with the blocks using the runestone and the the plate block, the titanium plate block. And then I kind of worked my way to the shoulders, created the arms. And then the head on top, obviously, is where you sit and pilot this beast. Now, once I got the actual outline done, the next step I, I kind of started doing is, well, I kind of threw the guns on because they were pretty straightforward. They were pretty easy. For the guns, I just put them on the the, the, the hand cannons, whatever you want to call them. I threw them on the uh, the edge of the, on the very end of the hand. I just kind of like lined them around. I, they were kind of influenced by this. Not really, though. I just did this kind of thing in the middle as like the, you know, it's like heating up. It's like, you know, that kind of thing. I, you know. You know sound effects you get how that works, right? So kind of did that with the hands I tried to do the gold plate block for like the the barrel and then the reason I did this back here is I was like I In in a way I was imagining this would kind of create a sort of like You know, it's heating up. So like this is hot metal where this is like, you know, not as hot maybe I don't know why I don't know why I did that. I don't know. I just thought it was interesting. I thought there was some kind of like, you know, maybe it's like powering up or something. So like as it as it's like moving or like charging up to attack, this continues to turn into like this kind of block. It's like heating up and then it shoots eventually. Maybe that's kind of what I was thinking when I made those. I thought it was pretty cool. Obviously, I have a little bit of a predator thing going on here. We got the cannon sticking up out of the shoulder. This looks a little bit weak, honestly. This part looks a little bit flimsy. And I would have liked to bolster that a little bit, but I wasn't sure how to do it without, you know, just putting a bunch of blocks there which would just look kind of lame I think it's getting a little bit crowded up in there so I, I think it's fine the way it is maybe we could have made them smaller possibly or maybe had them attach on the back more maybe like back here maybe that would make it look a little bit more stable in fact we could probably do that what if we do something like this no 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 I don't like that 
let's leave it the way it was. I think it'll look better that way. I mean, it's not great, it's not perfect, but yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty neat. So you got um, those cannons on the back. And then back here, again, kind of like tying into what we did over here, I created a big old battery pack for this guy. And here's what I was thinking. The battery pack, it's kind of just like these ones, right? It kind of attaches the same way, it's on the back of it. But for this battery pack, I thought it would be cool if I left it and I shaped it in a way where like the bottom was still exposed and it could double as a sort of a jetpack type thing. I thought that was pretty cool. What if we trim this up really quick? What if we trim this? that this and that and maybe this too I think that looks better I think that does look better yeah I think that's much better pretty sweet pretty sweet cool so yeah we made that battery back in the back and then I figured the battery runs on these things like these um these glowing sunstone blocks. So what I did is, imagining those are kind of like the power, I had that kind of go throughout the whole thing. So you can see back here in the neck, I had the power run its way up the neck. I had power running down the legs, so the, the feet and stuff had power. So like, oh, is it on the inside? That's no, on the outside, here it is. Oh yeah, so this runs up here and then, oh, I must have forgotten to actually like finish it. Oh, oops. Well, I guess between these two blocks, they're kind of like the power, but you know what? Honestly, I imagine this is like stuff heating up. It's like the joints and stuff. So I would like, you can see on the arms I did it. On the arms I have power leading all the way up the shoulder, going down that way, and then out on the edge and down the rest of the way. Although now I'm looking at it, I kind of would like to get rid of that one. Now let's leave it, let's not mess with it. Uh, we can mess with this part down here though, because I do want the power running all the way up. So if we just went like this, And then, let's see. I don't want, you know what? This might get a little bit weird. I don't know. I don't know. We could probably just go up right here. Like this? Right? So we're going up the leg. And then we could turn right at the buttocks area. Oh yeah, you guys will notice too. This is a pretty funny thing. <laughs> Gave him a butt. He's got a butt. Look at his two square butt cheeks. Oh, that's so funny. He's a little robot guy, but he's got a tushy. You gotta have a. What are you gonna sit on if you don't have a tushy? You gotta have one. So I gave him one so he can sit on things now, and that's great. That, you know, that's great. A lot of people don't consider the tushy when they're building their robots, and like, it's inconsiderate. You really should. You know, they want to. They want to have a seat sometimes. They need something to do it with. Cool. So that solves our little power problems. We have power running down the leg. We got power running down the arms. Power's running everywhere, even up here. Oh yeah, so this is like the cockpit, obviously, in the head. I created this as sort of like a cool little mask thing, was my whole point. I don't know, just a way to make the front more interesting, because it was a little bit boring just with being a big old rect rectangle there. So I did that to kind of spice it up. I threw some headlights on the top, on the roof, you can see there. Those are, those are headlights, that's the intention. Um, something that might be kind of cool is, what if we took these, moved them back one, like that, grab these, Go like this and now they're kind of recessed I think that looks even cooler I like the recessed lights better yes that's that's fantastic I think that looks pretty sweet and then we got obviously power running up here and then when you're inside here you guys have kind of seen already we've got a little door to get you in and um, once you're in nothing too fancy in here just the cockpit just the the place to sit I didn't add too much else because I can't think really of what else we would add in here. If you guys have suggestions, let me know. I mean, I'll edit this. I think this is, these are pretty fun little builds. They're pretty quick to do, and they're, I don't know, they're just, I don't know, interesting. If you guys have suggestions for other things that you think we should build, you should let me know. I would be happy to hear them and, and, and do them. You know, like a fast, like, one-off build that we could do just, like, in, like, an hour really quick. I love doing these things. I, these are some of my favorite builds we've done. They're, like, very unique. Stuff that we wouldn't typically do in this game or in this series, I would say. Um, we haven't done a lot of stuff like this before, and it's a, it's a fun change of pace. I think it's cool. I think uh, Sparks Manticore is a fantastic member of our community who built a train in Portal Knights once, and I think it would be very cool to create like a train or like maybe like a like a old west like you know like a cool cowboy town or something like that. That would be a cool thing. Maybe have like a, a train heist going on or something like that. But yeah, this is a pretty sweet thing. I like these ideas we've been creating. This kind of inspires me to want to build my own moon base with a bunch of like you know tech defenses and. Stuff 
stuff on it because these have been super fun to make and, and I would love to continue making them. I would love to make more of them. I, I certainly would enjoy that. But um, yeah, make sure you guys do like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Leave a comment if, if you have any suggestions for this build or suggestions for future speed builds because I think I'm going to keep this going. Um, yeah. I appreciate you guys stopping by and checking it out. And yeah, well, you've been a pleasure as always. I hope you guys have just the best kind of day. See you later, dudes.